And how many people in America know banks are nothing more than funds for insurance companies? The insurance companies are the major stockholders of our banks. Hmm. Yeah, and so that's why in America you have to have insurance on your car and you have to buckle up when you're driving. It's because the insurance companies, and the reason why you have to have insurance on your car and you have to buckle up on driving, probably have to do that now in Europe for the same reason, but the reason why you're doing it in America is because Americans don't, Americans think, well, it's the government wants to protect us so we, we don't get hurt. Well, that's true, but why? They don't mind killing people all over the world in wars, hundreds of thousands of innocent women and children being murdered in wars all over the world, so they don't really care about human life. But why are they asking you to buckle up and be safe? It's because your body, your physical body, is a security on the New York Stock Exchange. They own your body. It's, a, it's called Maritime Admiralty Law, the law of the sea or the law of water, and since you're 90% water, whatever it is, you are mostly water. So they refer to human beings as maritime admiralty products. You are what is referred to as a human resource. You're not a man or a woman. Incidentally, uh, if you go back and look at the correct English, there are books out about the English language and the correct use of English language in law and government. And if you look at the, the books on law and government and the English language, you will find that a man or a woman is referred to in law as feminine and masculine, but an animal in law as a male or female. This is why on all of your uh, information, your ID, all your driver's license or whatever, uh, it's always are you male or female, not masculine or feminine. Masculine or feminine is for man and woman, but male or female is for a human being. A human being is, in by law, in a court, a human being is not considered to be a man or woman. It is, to, it is considered by law to be a maritime admiralty product, and that product is on the New York Stock Exchange. So your birth certificate which represents your flesh and blood body, is a security on the New York Stock Exchange. You are nothing more than a human resource. You are an animal, a male or female animal that's being bought and sold by the corporation called United States Privately Owned Company. So once you understand how, and most people cannot relate to my words, they have no idea what I'm talking about, it's so foreign. Uh, but I do what I do to help those people, that small select handful that will be hearing me, who actually have a brain and who are actually used to actually thinking and reading and studying and researching, that's who I am appealing to, just that small minute handful who want to know the real truth about how the world really works. Because once you understand how how this tune is played, we call government, commerce, international commerce, international uh, operation of government, education, military, it's all business. Just like the mafia says. I don't have anything against the mafia at all. But I love that one saying that they have, it's very famous. The mob will tell you when they get ready to kill you. This is nothing personal. You know, like, uh, like in the movie Godfather 1, when, when Michael and the Godfather, they're all sitting around with the attorney. And the